Hey everyone. Welcome back to Coin Oz. In this video I'm going to talk about 8 rare US coins that command strong premiums at auctions. Hit that subscribe button below and let's get acquainted with those gems. Number 8. This is 1931 D. Lincoln cent in MS65 red condition. According to NGC, the mintage of cents at Denver plunged in 1931, an inevitable response to the nation's devastated economy. Many of these cents were not released until a few years later, and collector complaints about the unavailability of this and other current issues prompted the Treasury to disseminate instructions on how to obtain up to two examples of each coin on hand. Both the real and merely perceived rarity of these early 1930s coins is what created the roll market that was so much a part of the coin business for decades. 1931 D cents were well made for the most part, but quite a few show signs of tired dyes. Fully red gems are very scarce, and circulated pieces are slightly scarce. This MS65 gem ended up selling for $960 on October 11, 2023. Number 7. This is an error 1982 P. Kennedy half dollar. Graded in mint state 67 by PCGS. It's very difficult for novice collector or coin enthusiast spotting the error, as one should closely inspect the back side of the coin for absence of initials of engraver on exerg. This highly elusive no FG half dollar ended up selling for $870 on October 10, 2023. Number 6. Here is 1937 Buffalo Nickel Proof. Graded as PR66 by NGC. According to NGC, all 1937 proof nickels are fully brilliant, but an extremely small number display enough contrasting texture on their devices to be designated cameo. This issue is plentiful, but the demand from type collectors is quite high and keeps values high, as well. No proofs of this coin type were made for 1938, as it was already known at the beginning of the year that a new Jefferson nickel was on its way. This proof specimen ended up selling for $1,200. Number 5. This is 1936 Washington quarter in MS66 plus condition. According to NGC, the mintage of 1936 D quarters was similar to that of the 1935 D issue. With the saving of BU rolls well established by this period, they should enjoy similar availability in mint state, but this simply is not the case. For reasons unknown, the survival rate of this year's entry in mint state is quite low, some comparing it to the rarity of the very low mintage 1932 D issue. The 1936 D quarter is also rare in comparison to its San Francisco cousin, which had a lower mintage but, perhaps, benefited from the mystique always attached to S mint coins. When found, 1936 D quarters are generally well struck but may suffer from dye erosion that left the fields furrowed and the letter slightly distorted. Gems are noticeably scarcer than for other entries from this period. This MS66 plus gem ended up selling for $1,560. Number 4. Here is 1914 D. Lincoln cent. Coin is damaged therefore PCGS assigned AU details without grade number. Coin grading service didn't mention whether this coin was environmentally damaged or impairment was related to human factor. It was sold for $1,200 on October 10, 2023. Number 3. This is 1943 D. Jefferson nickel with full steps designation. Graded in mint state 68 by NGC. Coin displays five fully delineated steps on Monticello porch, according to Coin Grading Service. Why the mintage of 1943 D nickels was relatively low is a mystery, but most likely the Denver mint was directed to focus on other denominations that year. In any case, this issue is plentiful across all but the highest grades. This nickel ended up selling for $1,560. Number 2. This is non-circulating gold 2014 W. Kennedy half dollar struck for commemorating 50th anniversary. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS, this coins is lustrous, devoid of contact marks and bag marks, and displays outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $1,560. Number 1. And this is 1918 Lincoln sent in MS68 red condition. This virtually flawless example really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Silky smooth surfaces exhibit vivid mint color of beautiful pinkish red. According to Stax Bowers, the striking detail is razor sharp to full throughout the design, and the eye appeal is extraordinary. 
While there is no denying that the 1918 is one of the more plentiful early date Lincoln cents, the mintage is 288,104,634 circulation strikes, high quality mint state examples are scarcer than those of 1916 and 1919. Near the pinnacle of numismatic preservation and quality, this full red ultra gem is of the utmost condition rarity. It was sold for $55,200. If you have any questions or want to share your own numismatic discoveries, please feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, keep your eyes peeled for those hidden treasures in your coin collection, because you never know when you might stumble upon the next big find. Until next time, happy collecting!